We are looking at the Our World in Data website today. It's awesome. It has tons of data. It has data sets that relate to every single science, secondary science grade or subject. And the data sets are useful because they are interactive. So if you want to use the interactive versions, students can actually make decisions about how they're viewing the data, how much data they want to see. Um, you can also embed the interactive versions into Canvas and um, you can also download static versions. So if you just want your students to see a certain piece of the data and you don't want the interactive piece, you could use that. You could put it on a slide or print it off for them. Um, and a lot of the data sets relate really nicely to standards that uh, I think about five of our seven secondary subjects are teaching fourth quarter. So there's a lot of stuff on natural resources, energy consumption, um, climate change. So a lot of you are working on those topics this quarter. And so there is data that you could use either at the beginning of a unit to kind of introduce it or to get students thinking about a phenomenon or a problem, or you could use it later in the unit as students are either engineering a solution or trying to understand what's going on a little better as a way to learn more about it. So I would suggest um, using this articles by topic because it just, it'll take all of the data sets from one topic and put them on a page. So instead of like poking around different places, you can find um, which data set is going to work best for you. Um, and so there are a lot of classes right now working on things related to energy and the environment. So let's um, take a look at one of those. So let's look at fossil fuels here. There's a few different subjects working on things related to fossil fuels this quarter. And so you can see when you open up this page, it has some background information. Um, if you just scroll through, it'll give you all of the graphs and um, the information. You can click through them here also. So if you wanted to you know, see all the CO2 emissions, here they are. If you wanted to look at something that is per capita, so eighth graders are work on that idea, um, you can look there. You can look at different fuels and that are producing CO2 emissions. Um, but so a couple of the ways that you can use this. So you can see down at the bottom, there are a few different tabs. You can look at the map tab. Um, and if you wanted to look at how one country has changed over time. So if we wanted to look at how CO2 emissions have changed in China, if we click on it, it'll give us a graph of that. And that's over here on the chart. So I can still toggle back and forth, right? So if I wanna see the US, it'll give me the US. When I'm on the chart, I can actually add countries. So if I wanted to, Africa is not a country, but if I wanted to add a continent there, um, I think Europe is on here which is also not a country, um, but you could uh, go through and add the countries or the regions that you want to see. Um, when you, you can use the slide bar to see exact values. Um, you could play a little animation. I don't know if that's that useful, but it does let you zoom in or out of different areas. So if you were using this with students and you only wanted them to see a certain portion, you could um, adjust that and then just um, print that piece. You can change the way you're looking at this. So now we're just looking at the change. Um, so there are a lot of different ways that you could use this or engage students in figuring out themselves, how do we manipulate this data or how, how do we change the parameters to give us the information that we, will, that we need that will be most valuable. So there's the chart, the map. Um, you could also go to the table if you wanted to just give your students numbers, if you were doing something with numbers. Um, and then they also include the sources so that you know where the data is coming from. If you use the download button, it will download whatever page you were on. So if you wanted to just give your students a static map and you click download, it comes up and you can download 
that as an image. Same with the chart. If you wanted to give them that particular chart, you hit download, it'll download that chart. If you want to give them the interactive, so they're the ones that can change the parameters and kind of play around with things. Um, if you go to the share button and you go to embed, it'll give you an embed code that works in Canvas. So you can just copy that embed code, put it into the HTML editor in Canvas, and the uh, interactive will be there. And so I hope this is helpful. I hope you're able to go kind of poke around and find some, some data. So again, there are so many different topics. If you want some data on human height, go there. There's like five graphs on human height. Um, so there are a lot of different topics here. Uh, so I hope this was helpful. If you end up using this with your students, I'd love to hear what lessons you use it with and what data sets you end up using with them.